April 19th, 2022. Um, I, might, ooh, I myself have um, my knees, my feet, my interstitial fluid cracks as I'm walking now. Um, my the, the ability to hold oneself upright, the f even holding a gallon of milk right now uh, between like muscle ability is getting to be um, difficult in this area in New York, in Big Apple, in Empire State, somewhere between the three. Um, and on the televised portion of them alerting generationally, um, Generation X, uh, between baby boomers, I've got it covered between baby boomers, Generation X, Y, into millennial, and so on and so forth, on special, whatever. Um, so I'm watching what they televised, and... When I arrived, um, I used to be frightened at night. I didn't like sleeping by myself. I was an only child. Um, sometimes I would um, try to fall asleep like in Lynn and Lou's room, and then they would carry me into my room. Um, and like there was snoring that went on with Lou, but again, Lynn... But again, nothing like categorically that stuck out. Um, as the decades ticked by, now they have this thing where apparently Lin and Lou aren't the only two. There's this, it's so prevalent, this snoring when the body goes to sleep into some REM cycle. Um that they now send people to research facilities for sleep clinic. They require it at some levels of employment. And then they issue something called a CPAP, C-P-A-P, -P, in a medical device. It's for Lou, it's this gigantic mask with hoses that go into some kind of thing on the side of the bed. They have to try to sleep. It makes noise. So, um, I never really thought much into it because whatever. Um, but what's frightening is at existential systems, the nasal passages and the nasopharyngeal is collapsing so badly that it occludes or closes the lumen to the lung area. What kind of torturous whatever? I mean, when you go to sleep that you can't even breathe any longer. I mean, for atmospheric conditions and metabolic weight and atomic weight, these are like major signs of a problem. Um, they make light of it in the, the human f dysfunction or the human condition part of it, where the human doesn't know or feels like it's out of control somehow. It tries to follow along, I guess, the guided career path that was whatever. Um, and now that we're here in fourth decade, that I'm here, um, they've and they've offered the CPAP service, they made a human condition commercial of what it looks and feels like to suffer with this breathing condition. Um, at the end of the commercial, however, uh, they make uh, an alternate option of this like remote feature where you can have something surgically rem surgically implanted. So now you no longer... Now, I don't understand why they can't just fix the body machine all on its own, to breathe through the night without having a collapsing lumen to the lung. So this way you wake up feeling refreshed and healthy, and the cells are biologically doing what they're supposed to be doing in renewal overnight. I don't know why. It's like this force of planned obsolescence, and it is just, 
it just feels like they're just ripping everybody apart by like simple effects. Um, so now they offer a medical device which you have to invest in and it's some form of implant and then it's got an it's an intrinsic to extrinsic whatever. Uh, it's called Inspire. And they have some legalese at the bottom of it. I don't know. These companies. If you struggle with CPAP, you should check out Inspire. Inspire. They call it sleep apnea. Um, it says Inspire is not for everyone. It is a surgically implanted system that is intended to treat obstructive sleep apnea in patients who are not effectively treated by or able to tolerate CPAP. Talk to doctor about risks, benefit expectations. Uh, at w and then here's the whatever this means. Um, at what point do we sit down and have a conversation with somebody at Planetary and say, um, there seems to be a little more atomic pressure, whether it's atomic weight, whether it's atomic pressure, whether it's biochemistry, integration, whether it's the solar system, whether it's lunar or celestial or equinox, again, I don't know the answers to these, but there's some kind of pressure weight. I feel it as I'm trying to walk in Bayside and it's changing everything for the worse. It's not like it's getting better. Um, and I know I'm not the only one suffering from it. I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel comfortable speaking on anyone else's behalf at the moment since I have nobody to look up to and ask what he'd prefer. Um, but this is a real human condition that's extrinsic from my own. I've heard my parents have whatever and so um but it's become now like almost this way of life so many people have invested in their own health doing it and it becomes a thing then it becomes a money-making thing then it becomes living with that thing and I don't know when that thing that makes someone money that they may or may not suffer from like, how do you start collecting meal tickets away and still stay safe in order to fix the bigger problem um, with being able to move around and stay healthy and orthopedically functioning and internally functioning as you were or as is expected? Um... It's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Ketters, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman three six one.